They did not give us... <laughs> Sorry, Miss Ovi. We didn't have no food. In a panel discussion recorded on December 11th, but not posted on the Hollywood Reporter website till January 5th, the Color Purple star Danielle Brooks called out some of the ways that Warner Brothers skimped on the apparently big budget movie musical. I remember when we first came in and we were doing rehearsal and they put us all in the same space. Like we didn't have our own dressing rooms at the time. Also published on January 5th, Taraji P. Henson said in an interview with the New York Times, they gave us rental cars and I was like, I can't drive myself to set in Atlanta. This is insurance liability, it's dangerous. Now they robbing people, what do I look like? Taking myself to work by myself in a rental car? So I was like, can I get a driver or security to take me? I'm not asking for the moon. They're like, well, if we do it for you, we got to do it for everybody. Well, do it for everybody. It's stuff like that. It's stuff I shouldn't have to fight for. And just like Taraji did when people tried to blame Oprah, when Taraji said she was underpaid for work, all three ladies exonerated the film's executive producer. She had no idea. She, she didn't had know no what was idea. going on. She, she had didn't no know idea. Was going she was like, I heard about it. Oh, yeah. And you corrected it yeah, for I us. Corrected it. You corrected I called you. It didn't I call you? Yes. I and I was like, Miss O, we got to fix this. <laughs> and she said, say less. And was it not fixed? And fix? that's what I appreciated. Yeah, executive producer Oprah wouldn't have been dealing with the logistics of you know transportation for the cast. I mean, in reality, the, the title of executive producer is kind of a vanity title that you don't really do a lot. <laughs> I mean, you have a voice in the you know major decision-making process. Um, you have the power in that. But yeah, you're not really on set on a day-to-day -day basis. And of course, having Oprah as, as the executive producer of this movie certainly was a great publicity tool for the film. But the thing I'm dumbfounded by is that Oprah said in the Hollywood Reporter print interview in December that the movie had a budget of 90 to $100 million. I don't see where that money was spent. Like, I mean, Taraji would have been the highest paid of the cast, and we know she didn't get more than $5 million. And then they shot in, like, rural areas in South, so the location fees wouldn't have been huge. Um, yeah, there's costumes. Um, you had the ensemble dancers and choreographers. I'm still not seeing 90 to $100 million. Yeah, I'm just kind of blown away that it costs that much. Yeah, I'm kind of confused. Yeah, what are your thoughts? But this is my first studio film. So sometimes you do come in just saying, okay, well, I'm going to just take whatever they give me. I'm just yeah. happy to be here, you know? But you spoke up for us, and you showed me how to do that.